And I wanted to point out to you guys a little something. They have fig plants here. How exciting. Um, I wonder how well these grow. But figs, um, I don't know how often I mention this. Figs are one of the plants that can cause phytophotodermatitis. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. <laughs> I'm wearing a fig leaf. <laughs> yeah, and by phytophotodermatitis, I mean that contains compounds called furocoumarins and when they get on your skin and then they're exposed to UV light they cause a really bad inflammatory skin problem. Uh, in regards to plants, fig, parsley, uh, celery, and uh, lime of course as well as something called um, hogweed I think and uh, what kind of looks like Queen Anne's lace that can do it as well. Uh, taken by the patio egg. I wonder if that... I, it I, contains geranial or something? Geranial. Geranial. Yeah. yeah, that's what's in geraniums. Yeah. Yeah, and roses. I have a little bit of that. It's fragrance. Yeah. That and 5% lemongrass. That, that's what's in two-thirds of the skincare at Sephora. <laughs> it, no joke. Geranial. So, when I'm always telling you guys, don't put fragrance on your face. Yeah, even the mosquito. Is so <laughs> avoiding it. Mosquitoes know better. <laughs> yeah. That being said, these aren't really reliable in terms of actually deterring mosquitoes. I wouldn't rely on on them. They're not as well as evidence based, but and they ha haven't been shown to to hold muster in comparison to to DEET. And DEET's safe. I have a video on um, insect repellents. Check that out. I talk about DEET there. You can sprinkle this all over your lawn when you're going to have them. Barbecue. I am kind of tempted to get this, yeah, although I, I so far it I, comes with a little mesh hanger. Yeah, it'd be nice to put it out on my little patio. Yeah, it's a little diffuser. It's like a diffuser. Yeah, it is. It's a like diffuser. an oil diffuser. Ooh, pretty flowers. Those are nice. They always have the nicest flowers in here. Look at them. Yeah. Nice. Tybee would go berserk over the curly willow stems. <laughs> Can't believe the way he annihilated that pineapple chewy toy. <laughs> no. Took that I down and nothing flat. That wasn't the first time he's ever done that. Yeah. It was like some kind of a primal instinct to annihilate that little... <laughs> destroy the pineapple. Yeah. Speaking of pineapple, Burt's Bees has a flavored pineapple lip balm. 20 bucks says that tastes good. You probably want to just lick it off. <laughs> Isn't this a cute gift for somebody? Oh yeah, different kinds All of beer. Different kinds of indie beers. Now there's lavender. <laughs> So we're here. I'm wearing that Paula's Choice Resist uh, tinted. Under well, I just reapplied the Can Make Mermaid. The lighting's not so great, so you can't really see. Um, but I put on the tinted Paula's Choice this morning over my mm -hmm. um, Jack Black oil-free sun guard. But I just reapplied the Can Make Mermaid sunscreen. So um, I don't know. You can't really see much of the tint from the Paula's Choice. A little bit on your cheeks. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. What did you get this morning? Uh, it's a tofu scramble morning for me. That's what's down here on the bottom. Uh -huh. Potatoes, tofu scramble. And then they had this interesting, you can't see it, but it was like a corn salad oh, okay. that I put on there and uh, quinoa on top and pumpkin seeds. Mm. And you got a pull -off. And of course I had to get my sidekick here. <laughs> So I got cauliflower rice, um, some edamame, and um, a piece of pineapple and a piece of mango and a blackberry. 
and I dusted it. Oh, there's also some red quinoa in there. I dusted it with coconut, white and black sesame seeds, hemp seeds, uh, there's some peanuts and some raisins and toasted pecan as well. So that's what I got. How is your... Yeah, here's the carrot medley, uh, the corn medley, you can see. Mm. I thought it would go well with the uh, tofu since that's kind of a yeah. uh, southwestern flavor. There you go. I'm here at Walgreens and I've got to show you all. They have sunscreens that I don't think I've ever talked about, but these are awesome. Um, the SPF 50 Sensitive Skin is a combination sunscreen. So, and it's fragrance free. This is awesome. You should totally get this. It's very affordable. But this is a really good option. Um, you know, I've been, I currently am using the Jack Plaque Oil Free Sun Guard. This, although it's not cruelty free, to my knowledge, maybe it is, is a very more, much more affordable alternative. Likewise, Elta MD UV Sport. This is, this is a less costly version and they make a biggie pack. I wonder what the difference between the biggie pack and the little one is. Maybe just price, price unit, you know, smaller tube. Yeah, cause the little one maybe is, uh, is, uh, <laughs> TCA friendly. TSA friendly TCA. They also have a baby sunscreen that is uh, zinc titanium dioxide, so it's mineral only. This is gonna have a white cast to it, uh, but this is a great option as well. And then they have one that is clear zinc. Is this one fragrance free? Yeah, good job Walgreens, awesome. You guys, come on over here, good price. All right, let me not knock all of that over, that'd be rude. This is kind of a, like a Domino's in here of, of SPF. <laughs> All right. I always get, I, I get a lot of questions still about um, sunless tanners. I definitely advocate sunless tanners, you guys. If you want to be tan, use a sunless tanner. Don't use sun to get the bronzy glow. Um, the problem with sunless tanners, obviously, is that they, I think 90, I've, I've never seen a fragrance-free sunless tanner, so there's that. But yours truly used to use Jergens Natural Glow back in the day. I loved this stuff. I always thought it did a was really nice and pretty easy. I'm you know very low maintenance. I can't be bothered with a complicated um, tanning uh, sunless tanner routine. This was very very low maintenance, easy to do, and uh, yeah, I I always enjoyed the Jergens Natural Glow. I don't know how the Wet Skin Moisturizer one does. Yeah, the dihydroxyacetone in sunless tanners is not dangerous whatsoever. Check out my video going over sunless tanners. It's not a dangerous ingredient, and it's far, far safer than an actual tan. Now, the spray tans are also safe. Just make sure you don't inhale. So cover your mouth, cover your, your nose, cover your eyes. You don't want to inhale it. Um, that The safety of, of it systemically is not really known. So don't eat this uh, in large quantities and don't inhale it in large quantities, but oh, the skin is good. Oh, Bondi Sands, I've always heard of this one. Comment below, do you guys use this one? The other one that all the YouTubers use is, uh, what's the one they, they all use? Loving Tan. Loving Tan. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of loving these draggy baskets they have at Walgreens. <laughs> it can duel as like a bat, you can pick it up, it's got handles, or you can drag it like a cart. I love that. I've got that um, Walgreens SPF 50 sensitive skin in there in my basket. I'm over by the coloring pencils though. Super tips. Good old Crayola. Right now they're having a buy one, get one half off on these. So maybe I'll get the baby one too. But don't mind if I do. Because, you know, I don't have enough sunscreen. <laughs> You 
guys, this is an awesome product. The new Eucerin Roughness Relief Spot Treatment. It's got urea and lactic acid in it. This is fantastic if you have dark, discolored elbows and knees or keratosis pilaris on the body. Don't put it on your face, though. It's too, too tough for your face. Um, uh, Eucerin Advanced Repair. I love this one. I think I'm going to get it. I've got some brownie points through Walgreens. You guys know if you shop here enough, they give you points. So I think my points expire soon. Saint-Tropez. I've also heard Saint-Tropez is a good uh, sunless tanner. Ew, what's this? Jurgen's Instant Tan. Natural Glow. Sunless Tanning Mousse. I have a face one with SPF 20. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it does have fragrance. Darn. Oh, another recommendation, the Almay Sensitive Skin Antiperspirant Deodorant. This is a fragrance-free antiperspirant uh, that I definitely recommend. It's so hard to find fragrance-free antiperspirants. Vanny Cream makes one and Almay makes one. Good job, all may. Be careful. Secrets, they're clinical strength. Free? It ain't free. It's got masking fragrance in it. Um, so be aware of that. What is Dry Idea? Does that have that masking fragrance in it? Yeah, that has fragrance. Bad idea. Yeah, unscented does not mean fragrance free because they add masking fragrance to mask the fragrance but the, to mask the, the scent to block your nose from detecting it but it's still there okay why in the world would you need caffeine and a shaving cream honestly they're trying to suck you you men in to to the dark rabbit hole of a bazillion fragrance containing products that are only going to lead to irritation don't buy this crap just get like a basic plain moisturizer like beard shampoo and conditioner Okay, I can kind of see the rationale behind this because stuff gets stuck in there. But this Bulldog one has fragrance. Bulldog makes some fragrance-free products. They don't appear to have any of them out here. Is this one one of them? Oh, no, that's got fragrance. I know Bulldog, I think it's Bulldog sensitive. They have some fragrance-free stuff. But these beard bombs, like, with grotein. Okay, what the what is grotein? That sounds like something that they would do shots of at a frat party. Yeah, I can definitely see that as a fraternity hazing event. Grotein keg stands. Last man standing. Um, does this have fragrance in it? Yep, linalu and oak moss. Ooh, oak moss is... Oak moss absolute. That's what it's called. That's a common fragrance allergen. Yeah, I can't say that this Grotein line is anything I would ever recommend. Yeah, I can't say as I recommend any of this men's stuff. The men's products that I do recommend that are pretty good are the um, Jack, Everyman Jack. They're great. They're, they have a fragrance-free shave cream wonderful you don't have to be a man to use that if you you know ladies wanted to use it under your arms or on your legs or on your face if you shave your face it's great walgreens toy selection is not too shabby i don't know why they pair it with the automotive section well, it's like a veritable walmart and like a mini walmart they're competing with and your light bulbs I kind of like these little enchantables. I love little, little collectible toys like this. I just think they're cute. I always get tempted to get stuff like this and line it up. I think it's so cute. Oh, the calico critters especially are adorable. I had um, a house of this when I was a child and I see they've totally made a comeback. It wasn't called, I think it was called Calico Critters, or maybe mine was something called Maple Town, Maple, Maple Town Village, but it was fun. We all know Tyvee would destroy this cute little flamingo. Oh, it's super soft. I don't think he deserves another toy after what he did with that pineapple. 
Ooh, that's fun. It's a squeezy toy. Walgreens has kind of a fun selection of plastic plants. I like this little plastic succulent collection. <laughs> oh, here's some lavender that I could get behind. That's fragrance-free lavender. <laughs> Oh, those are fun. These cube trays. Toy time! Your ears inside out, little boy. <laughs> well, hey guys, back at my mom's. Um, while I was in Walgreens, I did in fact get um, both of those sunscreens. I'll show you guys. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, somebody wants attention. Pushy, pushy, pushy pusheen. That's his new nickname. Pusheen is that little, that little character. And so Tybee likes to get up and push his paws on you. I call him pushy pusheen. Anyways, I'll show you guys the sunscreens that I got. And maybe, maybe I'll put a little on now so we can see how, how they do. Although we just got a cloud coming in. So the lighting kind of went down, but. Uh, we'll do the best we can. All right, so I have you guys propped up on a taster's choice container. Anyways, I went ahead and got, they were such a good deal. Buy one, get one half off. They were $2.99 uh, at baseline. So, hello, Pushy. Hello, Pushy. Oh, you want to give a kiss? Okay. Um, so I got the um, baby one which is zinc titanium dioxide. I'm not gonna do a full face of this because I'm expecting it's gonna be pretty casty. Well, let's just see. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty casty, but it's comfortable. This is better than the CeraVe um, mineral sunscreen for sure. That's not too bad. I mean, it's an obvious cast, but as far as... This is not too bad. As far as it's not... You know, the CeraVe one, it, it clumps up so much. The newer formulation, the older formulation was much better. I don't know, that's not, that's not horrible. That is not horrible. This is a good one for, like it says, babies, kids, the whole family, but it will leave a cast. All right, but let me explain the differences. This is just mineral, the baby one, zinc, titanium dioxide. Um, zinc gives you UVB, UVA1, and UVA2, and titanium dioxide gives you, um, you know, it kind of varies as far as how much UVA it gives you. It can get, you know, into, it can get UVA1, UVA2, but not as well as zinc. And it also gives you UVB. So mineral, good, you know, nice in that sense. Chemical um, in this one is octocrylon. That will just cover UVB, but then you also have zinc. So instead of titanium dioxide, you have octocrylon in this one. Um, so your UVA is just coming from the zinc. Um, and uh, so it's not as, it's not gonna be as, as broad spectrum as this one. You're not, there's no way that the UVA protection of this is as good as this uh, because it's substituting the titanium dioxide for octocrylon. All octocrylon does is UVB. Titanium dioxide does UVB and UVA. But because here in the States, our sunscreens are pass-fail for UVA, there's no way for the average consumer to know the difference. And I'm merely guessing that this one is better for UVA than this one. And the reason that's important is because conditions like polymorphous light eruption, a lot of photosensitive diseases, um, hyperpigmentation, those things are really driven by oftentimes UVA in addition to UVB. And so for the average, you know, for the consumer who has those conditions, you don't, you don't have a good gauge. It's, it's difficult to figure out which sunscreen is gonna protect you the best. And if I were a guess, you know, I'm a bet, if I were a betting person, which I'm not, but I would, I would put my money on this one being better in terms of UVA, um, just because of the ingredients. But, you know, again, I don't, I don't have any, I could be totally wrong. It could be the same because we just don't have any, any way to know. But let's see, let's see the combination one. The combination one I know is gonna have less of a cast. Well, 
I was pretty confident in that, but actually it looks, it looks about the same. I don't know, they kind of look the same. Give it a few minutes. Yeah, they look the same, you guys. My money's on the baby one, in that case. Oh, no. I just spilled sunscreen on the couch. Yeah, my money's on the baby one being better. Put some up my nose. Both fragrance free though. My mom's ice in her cup back there. Tybee has scattered his toys all over the place. That's what's going on. Well, hey guys, what's up? I just got out of the shower after the gym as per Sunday night routine. I mean, I'm such a creature of habit, like you probably know that already. But anyways, earlier this week, I posted a video on some skincare products that have, you know, failed a little bit or some little heads up things that I have encountered that you may want to know. So check that video out if you missed it. But I mentioned that I did not get along so well, nor do I recommend the Trader Joe's Aloe Gel. It's got a lot of menthol in it. It's very drying and stings like the Dickens. Um, but I did purchase the Trader Joe's Face and Body Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30, and this is fantastic. Um, it's a nice everyday face and body moisturizing sunscreen. That uh, it's a chemical sunscreen, so you know it has the limitations in that the chemical sunscreens that we have here in the States are going to give us UVA protection by under the hands of avobenzone, which degrades upon exposure to UV light. So it's just not very good. Um, so, you know, that's true of all of our chemical sunscreens, unfortunately. But, um, you know, like all chemical sunscreens, this is zero cast. So that's great. Um, and uh, this one, like it says, oil free, so it's not greasy. Um, really, if you're oily, if you have oily skin, acne prone skin, and you're really fearful of sunscreens and moisturizers, you shouldn't be. But this is one to, you know, at least give a try. It's very affordable and water resistant up to 80 minutes, which is great. This is wonderful for Texas, Florida, the humidity, um, just kind of every day while you're, you know, going in and out with the air conditioning and stuff. Um, this is a great one. Um, obviously not a high enough SPF uh, to, to be good enough, in my opinion, for being outside all day. You'd really want, you know, more 50. Uh, and the reason for that is that people just don't apply enough sunscreen to really get to the SPF on the label. So you're probably walking around with more like a 15 or 20 with this. But that being said, this particular product is really nicely formulated uh, in terms of its consistency. It's very lightweight. So it's very easy to reapply and, uh, you know, it doesn't have that, that heavy feeling to it. So I think if you have oily prone skin, you'll really get along well with it. It doesn't sting me around the eyes whatsoever, but I'm not that sensitive. So you may find that it does sting around the eyes. It does have oxybenzone in it. Um, so there's that, but you know, cruelty free and very inexpensive. You know, this is you know great for the upper chest and back as well. Um, particularly if you've got acne in those areas, you need to protect that um, from the sun, so it doesn't you know it doesn't, your acne doesn't heal hyperpigmentation. And you may be nervous, particularly in the summer with all the sweating and whatnot. This is a good one. Um, I recommend it to at least give a whirl. Um, and you know, the funny thing about sunscreens here, like. I, it's, you know, it always baffles me when I see an expensive chemical sunscreen because it's like, what are you offering? You know, when I see expensive mineral sunscreens and I try them out sometimes, it's like, oh, okay, I get it because they formulate it in such a way, you know, that you get like the cast to be tolerable or they've added tint to it or pigments in a way that, you know, you kind of see that they put a lot of work into the formulation, the design. like. L to MDs tinted sunscreens and L to MDs mineral sunscreens, and those honestly aren't even like that expensive. 
Um, you know, the color science sunscreen that I use, the exuviance tinted sunscreen that I use, those are expensive. Like, those are expensive. But to me, it, like, it's justified. Like, they look nice on. But when I see a chemical sunscreen that's that, like that expensive, I would never pay that much money for a chemical sunscreen. Because it's like, what are you, what are you offering me here? I can get a zero cast from any any drugstore sunscreen. And the majority of the time, you know, the jazzy stuff that's expensive, that's a chemical sunscreen. I'm looking at you, Shiseido. And I'm talking about the American Shiseido. <laughs> that's shade to the American Shiseido, not the Japanese Shiseido. Their products are fantastic, but ours are adulterated with fragrance and incredibly expensive. Anyways, um, yeah, they'll sneak in fragrance. I'm like, not only are you giving me a like lame sunscreen, you know, I mean like nothing that is, but, you know, novel and is limited, limited in its use, you're putting it in a tiny bottle and you're pumping it with fragrance and you're charging an insane amount. I mean, you should totally buy this instead. Uh, this is even, you know, this is water resistant. A lot of the times those, those sunscreens aren't. And you're just like, what the flippity gibbet are you offering me? Nothing. Um, so yeah, Trader Joe's for the win on this one is very good. Um, I do recommend it. I know Trader Joe's has that like, um, is it a combination sunscreen? I can't remember. It's like a daytime facial moisturizer with SPF. Is it 15, 30? I can't remember now. It comes in a white bottle. I think he's got some flowers on it. Um, I think it's a little more expensive than this, um, but it's another option. Trader Joe's has very, you know, affordable skincare products. Your cleanser is nice. But yeah, that's just a little, you know, update on TJ's. Uh, comment below and if you've tried that one, if you like it, um, I'd love to know, but I think it's great and I've been using it on my uh, on my upper chest and body now i'm getting into summer i'm wanting to wear more lightweight breezy tops uh and not like the turtleneck so uh yeah if you guys enjoyed the vlogs this weekend give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye